Hey everybody, welcome back to Cheat 3. Today we have this puzzle box for you. Um, it's got over 20 steps to complete the puzzle and it's got several tools that you can utilize. It also has a drawer up top that you could store little trinkets. Um, oftentimes people come to us with requests for boxes that have a space for something special they wanna put inside the puzzle. Um, this puzzle was inspired by the movie Knives Out, the second one that's about to come out. Um, it's in no affiliation with the movie, but it's about puzzle boxes and we thought that was pretty cool. So this one was inspired by that movie. All right, let's get started on the full tutorial. Um, I'm going to do it on the wood table today because this puzzle is mostly black and it's difficult to see against my black mat. Um, so we start with these two plates here. They are four by eight plates and a one by eight plate. And we're gonna push those together. Then I have two one by six tiles. They go like that. Um, I'm going to leave one stud on each end and I have these rail groove bricks. So I'm going to put those two on that side and again leave the one stud and then these two on this side. Um, then I have these one, two, three, two by four tiles. There you go right here. I have a one by four plate and a two by two plate, a two by two tile, and a two by three tile. Okay, for this next layer, I have a one by two plate and a two by three plate. And then I'm going to put this one by four plate over top of those and this two by two tile right there. This two by two corner plate sits on the end. And then I'm going to stack those one by six plates. And I'm going to leave one stud and have it overhang the edge, just like that. And then on this side, I have a one by one plate and a one by eight. And again, this one also overhangs. Um, and then a one by two plate, a one by three plate, a one by one tile, and a one by two plate. And I'm going to leave that stud alone for now. This next layer will start with this one by three plate. That one goes here. A one by six plate over top. And this two by two corner plate will sit on top of that last one right there. Um, and then I have a one by three plate here, a one by two plate. These ones are in the navy color, I think it's called dark blue. And then a one by three, a one by four plate, and a one by one plate. All right, one last one that I forgot from the last round, it's just a two by two corner plate on the end right there. Okay, now we're going to get started on our first drawer. Um, this will be the bottom left drawer, and it starts with this one by three plate. Um, that's in the light bluish gray. This is a two by six plate in black, and a one by three plate. This one by two plate has the rail. Um, this is going to connect into those rail groove bricks. That one goes here a one by three plate and a one by two. And then I'm going to connect it with this two by three plate right here. Um, a one by six here on that side and also on this other side. This one by one goes here. A one by three plate. A one by two tile in red. And this is a one by one brick, but it does have this uh, stud on the side. And we are going to put it so that that stud is facing towards the uh, outside of the box. <clears throat> okay, the next layer has these one by four plates in coral. 
they are going to sit like that. And then on this stud here, we have a one by one plate, a three by three plate, and a two by two tile. And then I'm going to put this jewel piece right in that stud, like that. All right, to start the next layer, I have uh, a one by three plate. I have three of these, actually one here, one here, and the third one there. A one by three tile, a two by two plate, and a one by one tile, and a one by one plate. And to finish off this drawer, I have a one by three tile in dark blue, two one by two tiles in black, and a one by three tile in black. Over that, uh, over the, this two by two, I have a two by two tile. And over this stud, I'm going to extend this one by two tile like that. Um, and then I'm going to put this axle piece inside of the drawer over top of the red tile. So notice that I tried to match up uh, the red with the red on the bottom of the drawer so that the reset is just a tiny bit easier. Um, and then this drawer is going to slide in right here on the left side of the box. All right, now we will start working on the bottom right. It starts with this uh, three by three plate and the light bluish gray and a two by three tile in black. Sorry, that's a plate, a one by one plate. And then this is another one of those uh, rail plates. That's a one by two. I'm going to push all those together. Um, and then I have a one by four plate. This connects those. And a two by two corner plate. And then I have my one by one brick with the stud on the side. And I'm going to put the jewel inside of it like last time. The jewel faces outwards. And I have a one by four tile in the light bright orange. That will help connect these. A one by two plate here, a one by one tile, and a one by four plate. And this one will extend just slightly. Okay, next I have these one by two plates in coral. I'll put those there. And then a one by two tile in a light bright orange, a one by three plate here. And I'm going to leave that stud alone. That will help our knife sit a little cleaner. Um, and then I have a one by three plate here. And then this two by two corner plate is going to extend like that. And it will create a little hook. Um, the knife sits right in here like that. Um, and then I have a one by four plate, a one by one plate, and a one by two tile. And two one by four plates on this side. And a one by one plate there. All right, and to finish off this bottom right drawer, I have a one by three tile in the dark blue, a one by two tile on each side in black, and then a two by three tile here, and a two by two corner tile there. And then for this white one by three tile, I need to Frankenbrick it. Um, I'm going to remove this under tube here, And then this particular tile does have side ridges. They are these tiny little ridges like right here on each side. It's best if you do remove those uh, just so that it slides cleanly. So I'm going to shave them down just a little bit. Some of the one by three tiles don't have that um, and those are obviously preferable, but it just depends on which ones you get when you order your pieces. 
Um, so I franken brick this side and that's the side I'm putting on this stud like that. And just check to make sure it slides, it does. Um, I'm gonna actually put it in the box first and then place that tile on like that. All right, and then I have a one by one tile in the dark blue, a one by four tile, and a one by two tile. Um, I have this one in the dark blue, but you may want to use a different colored tile here, and here's why. So eventually we'll get these tiles to slide over. Um, this tile extends from the box, and there's another locking mechanism here. We'll build that one next. But once the drawer is out, you don't want to push this tile back in because now my box uh, becomes in an insolvable state and I can't get this tile out and I also can't push this drawer back in. Um, so if you want to make this a colored tile so you know, hey, don't push that one back in, by all means do it. Um, or you could just tell the person that's solving not to push this tile back in once it, it, it has extended from the box um, until the very end at the reset. All right, now we're gonna build the lock that I was telling you about. Um, it starts with this one by three plate, and this is our second Franken-bricked piece. There are four Franken-bricked pieces in total, um, five if you need to Franken-brick a tile. Some people might need to, other people might not. Um, so this is the one I removed. I checked and this does not have side ridges. So I'm gonna flip it over. And then where I removed the under tube, I'm going to put this one by one tile on that side and a one by two plate over here. This is like a one by two plate and it's got this little hook on the end. Um, this is going to sit like this and the hook is going to sit over top of the tile portion of the box, or of this piece. And then this two by two corner uh, tile is going to sit like that. And all of this will sit right here like that. And it should be able to slide on this stud like this. Okay, now I have a one by two tile, a one by four plate, a two by three plate, a three by three plate, a two by four plate, and then this is a one by four plate um, that's modified. It has the studs on the outside and then it's smooth on the inside. Um, and then another one by four plate here. All right, now I have a one by three plate and a one by six plate. Another one by six plate, a two by two corner tile, and a one by one plate there. Um, this one by two tile sits here, a one by six tile there, and then a one by four sits there. And then in this spot here, it's four lanes long, I'm going to put this plate. And then I have this four by six plate sits like that. Okay, um, this layer is going to start with this one by one tile. That sits right here. And then a two by four tile, a one by six plate. Um, and then these two one by two tiles are going to sit here. I'm going to skip this area here um, and then I have a one by one plate here and a one by three tile here. And then these two are the one by four modified pieces with the studs on the outside. There's two of those next to each other. And then a one by three plate here and a two by two corner plate sits right on the end. Um, it's just resting freely for now, but we'll secure it later. Okay, the next row has uh, four of these one by four rail groove pieces. We are going to put these on the outside of the box, um, like this on each side. 
And then I have a one by four brick here and a one by two Technic brick with a hole. And then I actually forgot to put these one by one bricks in. Um, you're going to have to loosen the box a little to kind of get these in, but these secure in those bottom drawers. And then tighten it back, just like that. Next, we have another Technic 1x2 brick. Um, this one is for the axle. It's got a little cross in it. This is going to sit right here next to our other Technic brick. So these two are the Technic pieces. And then um, this 1x3 plate sits right next to that brick. It's only going to be connected on this stud. Um, these two pieces, or this, these two studs aren't connected to a stud, it's the tile underneath there. Um, and then I have a one by one plate here. I'm going to skip that stud and then a one by two plate. Next I have two one by three tiles and I have already removed both under tubes um, and if there are side ridges, you also want to remove the side ridges. It's preferable to use pieces that do not have side ridges um, if you can help it. It makes your box operate a lot smoother and cleaner. Um, if you would like to test it, you can pull these and make sure that those slide very easily. This row starts with a two by two plate that sits here and a one by three tile. It's going to sit on those two studs and extend over one unit um, towards this side. And then I have a one by three plate. This one is just gonna rest freely right now next to that other stud. And then I'm going to connect it with a one by four plate. On the very end of this, I have a one by one tile and a one by six tile. On this stud here, I have a one by one plate and then on this one, a one by one tile. Next, I am going to place this one by one plate. This one sits right on the edge of the box. And then this one by four tile sits across these four studs here. And then I have a one by four plate and a one by three plate. And again, this is going to extend um, we're going to leave a little gap there. We're going to fill, fill it in later with a one by one brick. Then I have a one by one plate here and a one by six plate. And then a one by eight plate on this side. And same thing over here. Okay, next I have a one by three tile in the dark blue and a one by six tile in dark blue. A one by six plate in dark blue another one by six plate and a one by three plate. Okay, let's start on the upper right drawer and it starts with a three by three plate in uh, the light bluish gray and then a two by three plate in black. I'm going to put this one by one plate here and connect them with this one by four plate. And then the opposite over here we have a one by four plate and a one by one plate. And then I have this one by one brick with the stud on the side with the hole that I can place the jewel piece into. And the jewel sits towards the outside of the box. I have a one by four tile in the medium azure. And then I have a one by one plate in coral and a one by six plate in black, a one by four plate in coral, and a two by two corner plate in black. To build up this drawer, I have a one by three plate here, and a one by two plate, a two by two corner plate, and a one by six plate on this side. And then I have my one by two plate with a rail on it. And I'm going to glue this piece underneath right like that. Um, the reason you don't have to glue it, but I'm going to because 
it's really only sitting on these two studs and it can sometimes pop off. So I like for it to be secure. All right, I put a little bit of glue on top of those two studs and I'm just going to put it in right like that. I'm gonna give it a minute to dry though before I put it into the box. All right, to finish off this drawer, I have a one by three tile in dark blue and then a one by one tile in the light bluish gray and a one by six tile in the light bluish gray. And this is going to extend uh, over the edge of this drawer, just one length. I have a one by four tile in black and then a one by one tile here and then a one by one uh, plate here followed by a one by one round tile on top. And then I have a one by four medium azure tile and I'm going to put it inside the drawer with the under tubes facing upwards. And all of this is going to sit inside of the box right like that. Okay, let's work on the upper left drawer. It starts with this one by three plate and then a two by three plate and a two by two plate. Um, it's going to connect with this one by three plate over here and a one by two plate right there. And then this is our one by two rail piece. This is going to sit on that last stud and then extend one unit from the drawer. Um, again, our one by one brick with our jewel facing outwards, a one by one plate, a one by two plate, and a one by three plate. These coral plates sit right there to the left and right of the one by one brick. And then I have a one by three tile that goes directly behind the brick, a one by four plate in black, and a one by one plate. And then this two by three plate sits over those three studs and also extends. Okay, um, now I want you to flip over this piece and Put this two by two corner plate right here in that L shape. And then on the side that has the rail, on this very last stud, I want you to put this one by one round plate. Like this. Okay, next I have these two one by four plates. This one is going to extend quite a bit, um, just secured onto that coral one by one plate but we'll fix that in just a second. Um, a two by three plate here, a one by four plate, this one extends, and a one by two plate. And then this one by three tile in the dark blue sits on the end. I have a one by three tile in lime here, a one by six tile in black, And on this extending piece, a one by one round tile there. And then this two by four tile here. And then inside of this drawer, I'm going to put this arm piece. It has hooks on both sides. Um, there's also a similar piece, this one here. This one's straighter and it fits inside of the box a little bit nicer, but I found that it doesn't grip as much as this one that has the elbow in it. So I'm going to suggest this one here um, and I will tell you what part number it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. So this goes right inside there. Um, and then to put this drawer in, you actually have to pull out this piece here. And all I did was just grab onto the edge and pull outwards. And then this drawer can slide in and then we push this back in. And now we want to put our two one by one bricks here. So let me find two, got them. And just pop this up just slightly so that that piece can go in and same on this side. Now I want to take another one of these um, axle pieces 
and making sure my tools don't fall out, it's gonna sit right inside of that Technic piece. And just push it flush with the edge of the box. All right, this next part um, is a little tricky. It will be secured later with these pieces that go on top. Um, but I'm just gonna call out the pieces and slide them together as I do so. So a two by two corner brick, sorry, a two by two corner plate, a one by one plate, another two by two corner plate. This is a one by six plate, a one by one plate, a one by four plate. This is a two by six plate, a one by six plate, a two by four plate. I'm gonna slide this one over. That is a one by four plate, a two by two corner plate, a one by two plate, and a two by two plate. Um, it's important that you use these pieces that I just named. These are kind of specific. All right, and then I'm going to connect it with this one by six, or sorry, this is a one by eight plate. This sits on this far right side. Try to keep it together as best I can. It's a little tricky. And then a one by one plate on the end. This two by three plate here. Um, and then this one by six tile in the light bluish gray at the bottom. This one by eight plate connects on this left side and then this one by four plate connects on this top left side. Okay, and then we are going to secure it even further with more tiles. Again, to the best that you're able to use these exact ones. Um, this is a two by four. It's going to sit on there and then leave some space on the edges. This is a one by two right here. Another two by four on that side. A one by four a two by four here, and a one by three tile there. And then this is all going to sit on the box, right like that. Okay, next we have these one by one bricks. These sit on the ends here. Um, and then on this right side, I have a one by one plate, a one by four plate, a two by four plate. In this corner, I have a one by two brick. And no, we're not ready for that brick yet. We need this one by eight plate. Um, and then this one by two panel piece sits so right here. A one by four plate and a one by one plate. Then I have a one by six plate, a one by four plate, a one by one tile, and now the brick goes on. It's a one by two brick. This one by four tile sits across those four studs, and then a one by two tile there, a two by two corner plate, a one by one tile, and a one by three plate. I am going to start with this one by one plate. This sits here next to the panel. I'm going to skip a stud and then I have a one by four plate, a one by three plate. We're going to leave that stud alone for now. And then over top of that two by two corner plate, I have another one. And then same thing here, over top of this one by three plate, another one by three plate. Um, down in this light bluish gray cavity, I'm going to put this piece here. Um, it's a pin and I will tell you the part number. And then in this cavity, I have this key and it's going to sit right down in there. Like that. 
Next we have a 2x8 plate, a 1x2 plate, a 2x4 plate, 2x2 corner plate, and a 1x1 plate, a 2x6 plate, and then I'm going to connect with this 2x2, two two, or sorry, a 4x4 four four plate. That one goes on this bottom right corner. And then a 1x3 plate up here. A 1x3 tile. A 1x6 plate. A 1x4 tile. A 1x1 plate here and a one by one tile and a two by two plate there. And we are going to slide this in right like that. All right, I am going to start with this one by three tile. This sits here. This is on the piece that moves out. Um, and then a one by six plate here on top of the last one by six plate. Then I have a one by two tile and another one by two tile in white. A two by six plate. A one by four plate. And a one by one plate. Okay, now I have a one by two Technic brick with the cross. Um, and this one sits, we have these ones that are a little bit lower and it's on this upper level here. Um, and then in this spot, I have a one by one brick. And then directly behind the one by one brick, I'm going to put this two by four tile in white. This two by two corner tile in white sits here and a two by two tile here. I have a one by six brick one goes like that. A 1x4 brick right there. An additional 1x4 brick on that side. And then I have my book with my cheat three puzzle sticker. And I'm going to put the money in like that. Close the book. And put that right here over top of those white tiles. All right, next I have a 1x2 Technic brick. And I am going to put this piece in. It's got pin on this side and axle on that side. And then I'm going to put this piece here connecting onto the axle. And this piece sits right down here like that. So that this portion um, faces that window or the panel there. And then this one by two plate sits on top of that Technic brick. And then I'm going to stack two more one by two plates and put them over top of that brick over there. All right, let's start with this one by four brick. That one sits here. I have a one by six brick here. A one by one brick on the end here. A one by one plate and a one by four plate a one by three brick, and a one by four brick. This layer starts with these one by one plates. They go on these bottom corners. And then I have a one by six tile. Um, all of these are in the dark blue. Then I have a one by six plate. Um, I need a one by two plate there but that will come in the next round, I guess. Um, a one by three plate here, <clears throat> a one by six plate, and then I have no idea what this piece is called, but I will put a part number for you. It's got like a one by two plate here with uh, a two by two on the side, and then I'm gonna put a two by two tile over top of those externally facing uh, studs and that's going to sit right like this. Um, then I have a 1x3 tile, a 1x6 tile, these are all in black, and a 1x4 tile. Alright, here's my 1x2 plate in dark blue. 
Okay, this next one starts with a one by two plate and a one by three plate. I'm gonna push those together. This one by two plate sits on this side here. And then this two by three plate sits on those three studs and then it extends on that side. Um, and then I have another two by three plate over top, a one by two tile. This one by two tile sits in this direction, a two by two brick, and then a two by two jumper. And this is all going to sit inside the box, right like this. Okay, this slider starts with a one by two transparent brick without the under tube. You can also frank and brick this piece if you want, um, just by removing the under tube from a regular one by two brick. And then I have a one by one Technic brick with a hole. And I'm going to put these next to each other like this. Ideally, you're going to want to glue this to the side of this brick or above to this one by two plate. So this one by two plate connects them like that. And then this one extends off the edge of that one by two brick. Then we are going to connect them with this two by two um, corner tile in the dark blue, and then a one by one tile here. And this is going to sit right like this on top of that stud in the back of the box. <laughs> Okay, this slider has a one by one brick and a one by one brick with this piece kind of coming off the edge. Um, you want to probably glue these together. Um, and then I have these two two by two or one by two plates. This one is going to sit on this brick and then extend over top of this little uh, hook piece that extends from it. I'm not sure what that's called exactly. And then this one by two plate sits on top of the one by one brick. Um, and then I wanna connect these two pieces together with the glue, but also with this one by three tile. And this is in the dark blue. And then I have this one by two tile in white right there. And this is going to sit right here like that. All right guys, I actually missed a piece, so I'm going to remove this one we just put in. And down there on that stud on the inside of the box, I want to put a one by one uh, plate with a one by one tile. Right down there. Um, so now those two tiles should be flush. And then we can put in this piece. Sorry about that. All right, now we are going to finish off the box with this four by eight plate. That goes there, a one by eight plate. This is a four by four with the center portion cut out. This one goes right like that. And then the four by four plate over here. And then the tiles on top, I have a one by eight plate, or sorry, a one by eight tile on each end. And then this one by six goes here, one by six there, and one by one right here, another one by one down there, a one by six tile over here, and then fill in the rest of the squares with these two by two tiles. And the puzzle is finally built and ready to be solved. Um, the reset on this puzzle is pretty tricky, and so we will have a separate video that explains the reset. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this puzzle. If you did, give us a like or a comment, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts about it and seeing you on the next Cheat 3 video. All right, Cheat 3 out.